Hello and this is part two of the Southworks vertical three inch pump build. So, so far we have bored out the cylinder block here which is made from a bronze casting. It was bored out at half an inch there. So what we're going to be making today is the cylinder end covers out of these pieces of bronze plate. It originally arrived in the form of this rough cast plate. It has since been linished down on the linishing machine held in this little tool maker's vice. So the first job is to blue the surface so you can see our markings which I've already done on the other side. So the good thing about this little vice which is available from our Euro trade is with the little step it's perfect for holding small items like the plate. So it's already been taken down to thickness. So the first job is to mark the external radius of the cylinder. So normally you would simply drop the cylinder on and draw around the edge with a scribe. But that's not possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Starrett radius gauge to measure the external radius of the cylinder head which is 13 30 seconds of an inch. Then by making a centre dimple in the edge of the plate which you can see there we're now going to use our spring calipers set to 13 30 seconds of an inch. We're now going to scribe a radius around the plate. Now the radius has been scored, we can now place the cylinder block back on, lining it up with the radius, so you can then mark the edges by first marking a small line and drawing on the edge with a scribe. So you can now see where those lines have been marked on our cylinder end plate. So I shall re-read the edges and remark it so you can see it slightly better. Replacing the cylinder block on. There, lining it up with the radius. It is now a simple job of cutting out this bronze plate. There, that's the scribed lines. So, having cut now cut out the component and gone round the edge with the linishing machine, I'm now going to talk about deburring the part. So I recommend using a small fine file just going around the edge and removing all the burrs. Now this file has to be quite sharp or else you'll just skate across the top of the work. So now the part has been made we're going to check the accuracy of the part with our 0 to 1 micrometer. So measuring the cylinder block we get a measurement of 2 thou over the final size. And then measuring the part we get a measurement of 7 thou oversize and with this part needing to be slightly longer than the block that's exactly what we're looking for. So then taking the whole spacings off the drawing which means the parts need to be half an inch apart and then subtracting that off the actual size of the part would mean that each hole has to be 0 0.1 125 away from the edge of the part. So using our calipers set to this distance and the part having been covered in some more ink we're able to scribe this line across the bottom of the component ready to be centre marked later on. There we are and then doing the same along the other faces there we are and then to mark the top one we need to add the distance onto the spacing of the hole, which would give us a distance of 0.6. So setting it to 0.6125 there. Then locking the calipers again. Then scribing another line. Will then give us our points to be marked for the whole spacing. There we go. And then marking them with the centre punch and the drilling 
will be included in the next section. Then, having marked them out, I have centre part marked all of the holes. In the next section, we're going to be drilling all the holes and tapping them for the 10 BA studs and making the studs that will hold this head on. Thank you very much for watching. So as a final part of this video, we're going to centre drill the uh, little component which we've loaded into our tool making vise. So we're going to put that over on the pillar drill. And then this little centre drill from our Euro trade is what we're going to use. So all, always wear safety glasses and all that when you're using the machines. So we're going to go. So we're now over at the pillar drill with it loaded in there. Our little centre drill is in the chuck. And the drilling machine is running at quite a high speed. So we should be perfectly okay for drilling these. This is an old English pillar drill. So I have no sort of queries about accuracy. So we're going to go ahead and dimple those now. <laughs> So that is about it for this video, so in the next video we're going to be uh, drilling and tapping the head. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll just put it over here on the bench where you can get a nice um, 